I got Dolphin emulator running on a Chrome OS tablet as you can see here. Let's get to the video and let's talk about it. Hello everybody, it is Levon Kaysen back at it again with another video. Today I'm going to be showcasing, you know, Dolphin emulator running on a Chrome OS tablet. I just started, you know, using the Dolphin emulator application on my Chrome OS tablet today. So let's showcase some games and see, you know, how it runs with this, you know, Chrome OS tablet, as you can see right here. So let's get to it. As you can see here, this is the Chrome OS tablet, the Asus Chromebook tablet CT100. As you can see here right now, here are the specs which I have gathered from Amazon.com. It's using, you know, a six core processor. It's using, you know, four gigabytes of RAM. Um, it comes with 32 gigabytes of internal storage and all that other stuff. I'm gonna click, I clicked on it right now. And normally you wouldn't be able to run, you know, Dolphin on a tablet like this is because the Android that it is using it is using Android 9 but it's in a 32 bit version there is a 32 bit version of Dolphin if you click on the link down below of this video you'll be able to download the APK of the Dolphin emulator onto your Chrome OS tablet but you're going to have to be in developer mode in order to download, you know, unknown APKs from different sources. So as you can see here, I got two games, you know, Mario Sunshine and Mario Kart Double Dash. And let's showcase them. All right, so this is the frame rate that I'm gathering. As you can see, I am moving Mario. I am playing Mario Sunshine. I am gaining about, you know, 12, 13 frames per second. A little bit at times, it'll go up to, you know, I guess 14, but it's not very playable. As you can see, my jumps, as you can see as I run, look how slowly Mario is running right now. Look how slowly, you know, Mario is swimming right now. As you can see, it went up to 14 frames, 15 frames per second. It's kind of fighting, you know, whether or not staying up to 14, 15. Oh, it, it went up to 16, I think. Yeah. So, it's not very playable. But let's go to Mario Kart Double Dash. Alright, so as you can see here, I am now running Mario Kart Double Dash right now. And then it is running on, you know, 30 frames per second. It's not running at full speed, as you can see here. And yes, I am playing this game with one hand, and I am recording this video with my camera with another hand. So yeah, sorry about the crappy gameplay, but this is the best that I can do. So, it's kind of fighting, you know, from 29 to 30 frames per second right now, as you can see here. And, yeah, this game is not really running at full speed like that. It's not doing all that well. Yeah, and I am running, you know, Dolphin on the lowest settings. Hold on, let me showcase. Hold on. Let me showcase the settings that I'm running in. You can see CPU core, ARM recompiler, video, you know, OpenGL. I allowed it to show, you know, frame rates, enhancements, internal resolutions at the lowest. So, yeah, and it's not running at full speed for either of these games. So... Yeah, that's pretty much it. I just want to let you guys know that I got Dolphin running on a Chrome OS tablet. This is probably the first video that people have probably ever seen of 
Dolphin emulator running on a Chrome OS tablet. So, yeah. Dolphin, it's a no-go. Just based on these two games alone. So, let me know what you guys think. Are you guys going to try, you know, other emulators on Chrome OS tablets? And that's if, if you have one. Let me know in the comment section below this video. Thank you guys for watching. Peace, rate, comment, subscribe. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. And, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and bye.